Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for some brand new Monday Blu-ray, DVD, 4K, Steelbook and all the other bits and pieces, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's Monday, uh, we are here in Maidstone, just about to go into town. Uh, it's not a very big week this week, but next week, holy crap. <laughs> yes, next week is a gigantic explosion of media coming out next week lots of 4ks <sighs> loads of 4ks uh still books all sorts of shit coming out next week really looking forward to next week uh but for today we do have a moderate list which i am going to look for now i am expecting two items which i don't think will be delivered today um from the warner brothers shop i've ordered the steel book for the suicide squad which they took the money for 10 days ago still hasn't shipped apparently it's a supply problem uh they've also taken the money for the harry potter steel book collection as well which isn't due until the 29th of this month so they've taken it like three weeks early so um yeah they're going to be getting extra money with that with the old interest and shit naughty anyway today's releases right Let's put you into receiver position. There we go. Okay, so of course we all know the big title that's out today is The Suicide Squad. And that is out on a lovely looking Blu-ray. That really is a nice looking sleeve. Uh, but also we have the 4K. And I, I like that as well. It's not as packed as the blu-ray but it's still a nice uh sleeve on that one we have an hmv exclusive steel book which is very multicolored. um i think there's a little bit too black around the edges for my liking i like my steel books totally covered uh, that's why i went with the warner brothers steel book with all the bullets on but uh Whenever I get that, I have no idea. So that's the Sewer Squad, Sewer Squad, Sewer Suicide Squad. That's the big one today. We also have Honest Thief, starring Liam Neeson. A good film, not bad film. Uh, we have SpongeBob movie, Sponge on the Run. <laughs> yes. Uh, as well as The Hills Have Eyes in 4K, for the first time in 4K. We have a film called The Last Letter from Your Lover. I don't know what the last letter from my lover was. It was probably get out. <laughs> uh, we also have The Outsiders, uh, a 4K box set. There's a big cast in that. Um, Ralph Macchio, Matt Dillon, Tom Cruise. Loads of people. There's loads of people in that. Um, I think it's from the 80s. But there was supposed to be a, a standard Blu-ray a 4k restoration blu-ray for that but it seems to have disappeared from all the listings uh may have been delayed uh, we also have the flash season seven as well as legends of tomorrow yes legends legends of tomorrow season six so it's a little list it's a moderate list but it's nothing that's gonna make your pants explode not like next week because next week I'm going to need a big nappy. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into town. Couple of shops to go to today. We've got some HMV, some CEX, some charity shops. Uh, I haven't decided whether I'm even going to bother going into Poundland. Uh, because uh, as Dave said last week, Poundland is terminated. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, let's get in uh, to Maidstone and let's go and do some Blu-ray hunting and uh, pick a couple of bits and pieces up, hopefully. Oh yes, physical media in my hands, on my shelf, that I'll eventually watch sometime in the future, baby. <laughs> Okay, so we're on the roof here. I was just wondering, have you ever witnessed a pigeon committing suicide? I think we're about to find out. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> it's not worth it. You've got life to live. You've got things to do, like poo on people's cars. Don't jump. Okie dokie. 
all right, my love. Please yes. mind the door. I know, you're Don't not closing. Shut it. You're not Linda, but whatever. Going down. Okay, so we're here at our first stop of the day. No. First stop today is in the local Sue Rider, the charity shop. Let's go in and have a look, see if they've got any media. Okay, not seeing any Blu-rays. Loads of DVDs, sorry. Gangs of New York. Law abiding citizen. It's nice Schneider's list. Box set. Special, that's a good film. No blue rays. Okay, loads of DVDs in there, no blue rays. Nothing really interesting on the DVDs. I've seen it a thousand times with other stores. But let's go to our next stop. Let's shake it up a bit. So seeing as though we're up this end, ooh, let's go to CEX first and go and have a look, see what they've got. Okay, let's go and have a look, see what CEX has got this week. First thing I'm seeing in the window is a gift wrapped Christopher Nolan 4K set for £55. And the next file is Blu ray set for £120. Okay, so they've moved it all from the wall down to onto this aisle and uh, they've put all the 4Ks together, so that's good. So let's have a look. Okay, so they have these trilogy box sets from Marvel here, very nice. I do have all of those. They also have Blade as well. I think this might have been a red carpet edition because it comes with a slip cover. Uh, we have Cruella for £18 on 4K. And here we have the Expendables 3 for £2, so that's pretty good. And down here we have a really nice steelbook, The Magnificent Seven. This is the remake for £10. I do have this. It was an HMV exclusive. Uh, we have Night of the Museum, the trilogy, for £6. So that's pretty good with a cheeky monkey on the cover. And we have the Sylvester Stallone collection for £15. Uh, includes Cobra there, The Specialist and Demolition Man. So really good. That's pretty good value. USS Indianapolis, this is a very underrated Nicolas Cage film for £3. It's a pretty good one if you like sort of survival kind of thing. Uh, on the bottom shelf here, lots of Suicide Squads, uh, lots of Star Trek and Star Wars Blu-rays, some Spider-Man thrown in there as well. Okay, so yeah, they moved everything around in there. The Blu-rays are in a different location. Uh, I preferred where they used to be, you know, you have to bend down further to see the bottom shelf which is always not very good when you've got to have a bad back. Uh, wasn't really anything worth picking up. Couldn't see any steel books in the display cabinet though. And there's not many behind the counter, so I don't know what they've done with the steel books. Other than that, yeah, it's the same stuff. A few extra pieces, but let's uh, move on now to HMV. Go and have a look at this week's new releases. Okay, so next stop, HMV. Let's go on in. Okay, so on the 4K section, it's the big one. Yes, it's the Suicide Squad. £24.99 with a very nice slip. Very nice. Uh, over here on the new film selection, we have the Suicide Squad. We have the Blu-ray. Yes, with a slip cover, £14.99. Really nice slip on this one. And also the DVD. I love that kind of like retro red sun effect. Uh, we have Honest Thief with Liam Neeson. This was not a bad action film. Uh, down here we have SpongeBob, uh, the sponge on the run. Yes, lots of sponges. Who likes a SpongeBob? £14.99. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, up here we have uh, The Last Letter from Your Lover. Uh, Felicity Jones is in that as well. £14.99. So that's pretty good. And down here, right down the bottom here, we do have The Outsiders, the new 4K restoration. I thought they were only going to be stocking the uh, the big box set for 50 quid, but now they've got this version as well. So uh, very tempted to pick this one up. And what else have we got? On the TV section, we do have the DC series. We have Flash. Ah, uh, no, not that one. Uh, this is the seventh season of Flash. And next to it, we also have the sixth season of The Legends of Tomorrow. Yes, you know I mean legends. 
both $29.99. Uh, down here we have something called Emily in Paris Season 1. This is from Darren Starr. I'm not familiar with this series. Uh, but up here I am familiar with this series. I've been watching it for, what, 17 or 18 years? Yes, it's Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> with Meredith on the cover there. Uh, we do have Raya and the Last Dragon and also Soul, but no of those new retro slip covers, unfortunately. On the DVD section, are we every last one of them seems to be only one of the really cheap DVDs in today, unfortunately. And on the 4K section, here we have a steelbook. Uh, I actually do like this film, The Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. I like both of these films. Uh, it's the first time I've actually seen the steelbook in hand as well. And here is the big Outsiders box set, really big, thick, hefty box set. £49.99, lots of different, looks like lots of different versions on the bottom there. Uh, brand new 4K restoration, so that's pretty good. And down here on the way out, I did notice the uh, the Suicide Squad Steelbook, the HMV exclusive. It looks much nicer in hand, actually. Uh, unfortunately, there's no gloss or embossing, but it still looks pretty good. And on the way out, I saw 19.17 for £9.99. Okay, so picked up a couple of things in HMV, two things. So uh, let's go to our next stop. Let's go to the British Heart Foundation and then we'll go to the Children's Trust. So two more charity shops. Let's go and check out British Heart Foundation first. Okay, let's go in the British Heart Foundation, see if they've got any new media in this week. Well, it looks like we can only expect DVDs again. Uh, they do have this What Lies Beneath DVD with a see-through slip. That's pretty good. Uh, we have some various seasons of South Park in here, Parks and Recreation. We've got a couple of seasons of uh, Allo Allo, yes, with Officer Crabtree. Uh, down here, we've just got the regular DVDs mixed. Yeah, there's nothing that stands out, unfortunately. Like they, they've got maybe one or two Blu-rays. Uh, we have uh, the Hulk, the Incredible Hulk down here. Uh, and uh, there's another in, uh, in between as one there. On the centre roll here, we've got a Harry Potter book. We do have the Pacific Tin and a nice uh, Lauren Hardy set. OK, so last stop today, the Children's Trust. Let's go in and see if they've got anything new. Well, they seem to have got rid of all their Blu-rays in here, but we do have a Layer Cake Snatch and Lock Stock uh, trilogy DVD box set here. Plus, we also have that Monty Python box set that was in here a couple of weeks ago uh, with the movies. We've got a Richard Pryor box set there as well. Uh, Revenge and Life uh, and we've got a, a nice Alien uh, Quadrilogy box set here as well um, on DVD but I don't know what they've done with their Blu-rays they've all gone that is creepy as hell it looks like she's been in some kind of bloody road accident and she's all bandaged up with bubble wrap ok so let's go back to the car we're all done here We've just got time before my balls drop. Okay, so nothing much in the charity shops, unfortunately. I picked up two things from the mighty HMV. Nothing from CEX, so quite a light week this week. But next week is going to make up for it. I know it is. I'm probably going to need a shopping trolley. Anyway, let's go home and uh, I'll show you what I picked up today. And if anything has been delivered, probably not, but we'll check anyway. Okay, so back from the shops, I got home and I found an envelope sticking out the letterbox, one of those thin cardboard ones with a Blu-ray uh, that's shipped from, I don't know where it's from, Denmark or somewhere. Uh, now I picked up, or rather I had delivered, Chevy Chase in Vegas Vacation, I love this film. This is one of my favourite uh, vacation films. I do also own the Christmas Vacation as well. Uh, I'm figuring maybe I'll put that in a green, either a green or a black case uh, to go with the uh, the blue one. Yes, I didn't even have to change the case on that one. <laughs> I could have gone with a red or a green, but I figured it looked better in a blue one. Um, I prefer these individually rather than in the... Uh, the National Lampoon's box set so I will be looking for the other ones individually as you can see it's got a weird ratings down the bottom there I think it's a seven whatever that is uh, and it's got all the international flags on the back there Norway and Sweden and all that kind of stuff so it is an international release but it does have a um, 
a DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 soundtrack. So yeah, so let's just open this one up so we can have a look, see what it looks like inside. I should imagine it's just gonna have one disc with artwork on. Let's get the old wrapping off. Okay, yeah, it's quite kind of artwork. Oh, I was ex maybe expecting that. They should have had actually, should have had a roulette wheel you know, on the actual disc, but we just got the Vegas Vacation logo there. So they missed a trick there. But yes, that is Vegas Vacation. That is one of my favourites. So that was the delivered one. Uh, the two that I picked up, the first one I picked up uh, is a film that I've not seen, but that's no surprise to anybody. <laughs> uh, this is a film by Francis Ford Coppola. I showed you the big box set in HMV, which was £50. Uh, but there's also a um, a slimmed down version, which includes, I believe, a 4K restoration. Uh, and that is for The Outsiders uh, from the 80s. I don't know what year this is from. 1983, I believe. Yeah, it's got lots of special features in here. You can see all that. Uh, it's a two disc. It was £14.99. Uh, it's a 1983 coming of age classic based on the 1967 novel by S.E. I think that's Hinton. Stunningly restored, overseen and approved by Coppola himself. This edition also includes the original theatrical version. So this is The Outsiders, the complete novel, 2021 restoration. It's got audio commentaries, uh, new restoration story lots of special features deleted scenes yeah so there's a there's a lot in there um so it does have two versions actually the original version is 92 minutes long and the complete novel version is 115 minutes so that's that's quite a bit that's quite a bit extra uh, it is a dts hd master audio 5.1 so yeah i look forward to watching this i saw the trailer for this never actually seen the film but i was really really taken back by the cast. I mean, we've got C. Thomas Howell, uh, we've got Matt Dillon, Ralph Macchio, Patrick Swayze, Rob Lowe, Diane Lane, Emilio Estevez, Tom Cruise and Leif Garrett. So pretty much all of that cast are big time names now. Maybe with the exception of Leif Garrett, I'm not familiar with that name, but everybody else has made it pretty big. So yeah, so that's the Outsiders, so we shall take that out. And there is the Blu-ray. Let's have a look, see what treatment we get inside on this two discer. I wasn't gonna pick up the 50 quid one, you know, cause I've never seen the film, so I might not even like the film. At least with 14 pound 99, it doesn't really matter if, if I don't like it, you know, uh, I haven't spent too much. Okay, so we've got two discs. So we have that disc in there with artwork. And then we have that one. So, yeah, two different artworks. That's really cool. Okay, and um, we just get a little leaflet in there about Studio Canal. Francis Ford Coppola presents The Outsiders. Fantastic. So I will give that one a go. I will give that one a go and uh, I'll share my thoughts on it. And the last one I picked up today, I've been waiting like everybody else that ordered it from the Warner Brothers shop for the Suicide Squad still book, the one with all the bullets all over it. Um, and they've taken the money over 10 days ago and there's not even any acknowledgement or not even any movement on the shipping. So it hasn't even like gone to the warehouse. It just says processing. It's been processing for about 10 days. Uh, they have also taken the money for uh, the Harry Potter steelbook collection. I don't know how long we're going to wait to get that one. We'll probably be lucky to get that one in 2021. <laughs> probably end up being delivered after Christmas or after the new year. I hope not because it's supposed to be out in three weeks. But yeah, I, I don't know what's happening with the... Um, the Suicide Squad still book. I have contacted the Warner Brothers shop. I have messaged them twice on their online inquiry form 
and sent them four individual emails. Not one request has been acknowledged or replied to. That's pretty poor. That is poor customer service. I thought that Zavi were having problems, but yeah, I'm not impressed with Warner Brothers Shop. Really not impressed. It's probably going to be the last time I ever use it. So um, once the Harry Potter's out of the way, I'll probably just steer clear of the Warner Brothers Shop. But anyway, I did pick the Suicide Squad up. I did want to pick up the Amore version because uh, I do like the cover. And normally with the DCs and the Marvels, I do get a still book and I also get the Amore, depending on the artwork. If the still book's not up to shop, then I'll just get the Amore version, the standard version. Uh, but if the artwork is good on the still book, then I'll also double up. I like to have my doubles. Uh, this includes over 80 minutes of special features down here. So that's pretty good. So yes, there we go. So there is the Suicide Squad. So we have 4K and the Blu-ray. Unfortunately, we don't get any digital codes. We never get hardly any digital codes anymore in the UK. We have a really nice spine title on there. Uh, and they seem to be now getting rid of the horrible hub thing, um, the security thing, because the, the outsiders doesn't have it either. But there we go. There is the back. Yes, £24.99. Uh, 90, 90, so we get all the specifications on the back there. And uh, what have we got? Have we got a Dolby Atmos soundtrack? Uh, we've got Dolby Atmos True HD. Very nice. Uh, we have a gag reel, deleted and extended scenes. The making of four of the most epic scenes, including the beach, gorilla camp, Harley's escape, and the fall of uh, J Jotunheim. I can't remember what that is. The comic book origins of the Suicide Squad. Bringing King Shark to life. That should be interesting. How James Gunn made the Suicide Squad. Starro. Uh, it's a freaking keiju. keiju. Uh, three retro style trailers and director commentary. So it's got a lot of special features in there. But uh, yeah, let's open it up and let's have a look. We go very nice and uh, we get a, like a security thing over the top of it now like a sticker i suppose because they don't have the tags in this in the side anymore okay so let's open that up yeah because normally on these blu-rays and 4ks you get like a tag bit in the middle but it's not there's, there's no tag bit for it for the tag to go in that's probably why then very nice okay uh oh we do have a leaflet which i shall show you in a in a moment uh two discs a bit of a bit of artwork so we do have artwork on the 4k which is very nice um just a bl basic blue on the blu-ray which i'm surprised because normally when we get a 4k you know they at least put some artwork on the blu-ray version of it so that's that uh the leaflet we get in cinemas 2022 so we got the batman the league of super pets i'm not familiar with the league of super pets i'm gonna to have to look that one up uh, we have the flash movie and black adam as well so lots of dc movies to look forward to um we also have suicide squad coming 2022 i think that might be a game yeah ps5 and Gotham Knights come in as well on, on the, the game. We have uh, bits about the, the DC uh, TV shows. And we also have the Justice League and one, Wonder Woman 84 on there. So nice little leaflet. It gives you a little bit of uh, information of uh, you know what's to come and, and what's available. So there we go. So that is... The Suicide Squad. When I do, hopefully, when I do eventually get my Warner Brothers steelbook, I will be doing an unboxing for it. But uh, that is the Suicide Squad. Plus, we have the restoration of the uh, the Outsiders, and also a bit of Chevy Chase Vegas Vacation. So yeah, not a heavy week this week. I'm glad actually because. Um, Next week is quite it's quite bulky. It's, it's actually insane, totally insane. What is out next week? So uh, 
we'll have to, I'll have to slim down the opening because if I was to feature in the car every title that was coming out, I think that would probably take half an hour just to go through what's coming out next week. But uh, we'll see next week anyway. But I'm really excited of some some serious stuff that's coming out next week. Plus, I, I'm also going to be getting delivery of some steel books as well that are, that are due out next week, uh, including like um, Star Trek season three of discovery uh there's warm bodies steel book as well and um a few other bits and pieces but yeah that is it for now so i hope you enjoyed the video like it by giving it some thumbs up don't forget to uh, subscribe comment and share stick down below uh what did you pick up today what have you had delivered uh, have you had any notification from the Warner Brothers shop about your Suicide Squad still book? Probably not, but let us know down below um, and I'll see you on the next video very soon. Bye!